Greetings guys, my name is Sugi or Sugi Tech and today I'm going to teach you guys how to record video material um, with OBS and there are a lot of YouTubers or whoever is making video content uh, some people are using Fraps Fraps is not probably the best video recording program one, it doesn't have a lot of features secondly, it takes um, it, the, the the video files are so big. OPS is very well comp compressed files with good quality. Um, it is ideal for lower end computers and higher end computers. It's also better streaming program. So let's get started. So first things first, you gotta download the program and you gotta hit up with the settings. You open up settings, okay? And first things first, we have uh, a general here, which we're going to start from. And we've got language as English or whatever you want to prefer. Um, <clears throat> you have a few boxes here. You can enable cursor, the, aka the mouse, to run over the projector. Some people don't like it. Um, it appears, it doesn't appear on games, I think. It actually does. But you, you can switch it off or not. Um, right now, I'm not able to change the setting profile because I'm recording uh, with OBS at the same time, which is kind of tricky. So you're able to choose a set different setting. This means that you have different settings. Um, so you have a settings for streaming and you have settings for recording. And that's the two ones you should have. You should have one for streaming and one for recording. Or in case you're only recording, so you, you just need one setting. Um, and you're able to add one. I think you have only can have only two at the moment. And you're able to change the settings. It's a really easy. And from the profiles here up top next to settings, you can change it. But once we have done the setting profile, let's just name, name, rename it, uh, name it recording, and hit the apply. First off, we go to encoding. And what we need to have is the encoder as x264. We don't have CPR uh, enabled. So this is only for streaming, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I, I, you don't use it for recording. Quality balance, you want to use 10. Even if you have a bad computer, you want to use quality balance 10. It's um, OBS has a really good quality, and the files end up being like 10 times uh, less uh, in terms of space than like a Fraps file. Max bit rate should be around 1000. Uh, buffer size should be zero. And you use the cu use custom buffer size has to be enabled. Audio encoding this should be default stats. We have codec as AAC, bitrate as one two eight, channel either stereo or mono, and format should be forty eight kilobytes. And just hit hit apply. And let's move to the next part. So here we have originally we have a live stream option here, but we use file output only to have the where the so this is this means that there is going to be a file that is recording instead of streaming. Um, of course, um, when you stream, you're able to record at the same time. This is a fact that some people need to remember. So you need to use a file pad where you want to put it. I have it on my videos, and I have a file name as a file original as hell. But you know, and every time you record, it will be named as file. If you are starting recording, if you haven't renamed the older file, it just names it file 2, file 3, file 4, and uh, so on. Uh, Redlay buffer file path, you don't need to change that. Whatever you want to throw it at, it doesn't really matter. I don't use the feature. Um, Redlay buffer length should be one second. And once again, we hit the apply. Go into the video part. We have our video adapter, so the graphic card. And you should have, you should have NVIDIA or whatever might be your uh, graphic driver. Um, base resolution should be as your monitor size. So I, I have 1090x1080. Aspect ratio should be 16 to 9. Um, of course you can like have a lower base, base resolution for better performances of course. Or you can just use the monitor one here. It's up to you which you want to use. And of course, you can downscale the monitor from here if you want to. It's optional. 
And here's a very important part is FPS. Some people who are making for YouTube content, like I want to, I wanted to have 60 FPS, but you have to remember that YouTube has only 36 FPS right compatibility right now, or was it 38? I think later on it will have uh, support for 60 or something. But right now, right now you don't need anything more than 30. A lot, a lot of the time, you and I just can't see the difference most of the time anyways. And it really depends on your game, of course, and everything. You can always have a fire FPS. I like to have it 30 or 35 or even 40 at some times. 60 is just useless. It's just not making a lot of difference. And you might want to disable aero for performance issues. Um, there might be some settings that you can't use without disabling aero. I don't remember what it was, but I remember something like that. And once again, hit apply. And uh, moving, moving on, we go to audio. Here we set out our microphone and speakers. And push to talk delay should be 200 or whatever you will be using push to talk. Desktop boost one and micro ax ac my my microphone aux boost one and mic off sync offset is zero. As for hotkeys, you can choose how to start recording. So you should have a different recording button for streaming and recording. Sometimes you can have them on the same, but this is for special cases if you want to do that. Um, I usually have it on the same thing. So recording and stop recording is in the same button. Um, of course you want to be like if you're recording a game you want to make sure that the key is not interfering with other controls in the game that might interfere with the uh, recording and here we have push to talk and things but I don't use that for micing my mic finally we go to advanced and we have use multi thread optimizations um, priority class should be above normal or high skin buffering time always should be 60 seconds um, allow other modifiers on hotkeys can be checked or unchecked. CPU preset should be super fast or ultra fast. Encoding profile should be high. Keyframe interval has to be 2. And we need to use CFR. You don't use CFR on streaming though. At least I don't think you do. Um, I don't stream too much. So you use CFR and check out the custom X264. 264 encoder settings and put CFR equals 20 and hit apply once again you can leave these as defaults as they are right now you don't need to touch them and uh, quick sync encoder this is totally optional um, I haven't really used it and here you can actually change some of the microphone settings if you want to you can enable noise gate and all that but I don't really use it I know there's a lot of background noise but does my computer making a lot of sound and that's another story sadly and here we go apply or cancel whatever and moving on to the final part of the thing you add a scene it doesn't matter it's just a name I and mean, you can have multiple scenes for multiple different purposes um, then you have a video capture device which is for game capture devices like Elgato um, and webcam as you can see you have different options here. I don't go too much in details for these. They are kind of different thing, but here you can add them if you want to. And game capture, you go right click it on properties and you have a game selection. It also offers um, these um, browsers or Skype and programs. You just click refresh to get it working sometimes. Sometimes it will show black screen. That means you need to refresh it. Um, once again, you have a hotkey changes or so stretch image to screen, capture most cursor and all that. Um, stretch image is sometimes good with indie games that are smaller screen, uh, makes the recording a bit better without you having to edit it or stretch it in or zoom in in, in the video editor, whether it be Sony Vegas or whatever. And if you are monitor capture as we are right now, we have a setting here for. Um, what what monitor we use? Once again, the most cursor capture gamma. Um, wow. Okay, that's not real smart. And we have also sub regions, so you can like select certain regions, and you're able to like um, have uh, webcams. But that's another story. Um, and this should be like as they are. And also, you're able to add um, image. These are for overlays, might make a video about them as uh, another video. 
and you have a text and image slideshow and of course we have the window capture so a specific window instead of a monitor thanks for watching uh, hope you decide to subscribe share and like the video if you have any questions or having problems getting this running please leave it in the comments below and thanks for watching once again and see you guys later on the next tech video cheers